Tên tôi là Amon Rajan, tôi yêu thích nhạc reggae. Казвам се Амол Раджан, обичам реги музика. Now, I never actually said that. My video has been manipulated and my lips synchronized to someone else's voice. For makers of fake news, those who want to deceive other people for commercial or political reasons, these tools could be devastatingly effective. This is revolutionary technology and we are just in the dawn of its use. But think of its creative potential. For instance, in the global TV market. Right now, dubbing isn't exactly subtle. I charged one and let the other one off. <laughs> Henry Madsen is out of coma. Not so good for you. I'm not afraid that I'm going to get close to you and finish the work. Algorithms figuring out where is the eyes, where is the mouth, where is the different key points in the face. And that's what we use to basically reconstruct the face and that allows us to, uh, to change the definition. Here. So I grew up in Denmark, which is a very small country, 5 million people, which means that we're too small for anyone to want to dub content. So I grew up on subtitles. And uh, while I'm accustomed to subtitles today, it does take away a certain uh, element of the experience. Ooh, you can see it's a actually refined. <coughs> Just taking it out, I think. Uh. So for instance, I might say, my name's Amal Rajan, I love reggae music, and my favorite band is The Waders. But how about I say that again in... Vietnamese, not a language I speak as it happens. Tên tôi là Amon Rajan. Tôi yêu thích nhạc reggae. Tôi thích nhất là band The Wailers. Tôi nghĩ họ là ban nhạc tuyệt vời nhất trong lịch sử. And what about I say that in hmm, Bulgarian? Kazan se Amon Rajan, ubichem reggae muzika, ljubimata mi banda se The Wailers, mislim če te se najvelikata banda v istorijata. But how do we make sure that this technology is used for its commercial benefits rather than through its political dangers? I think it's very important that you have good actors in this space that understand the technology, that can help shape it, uh, both from sort of a public awareness perspective, but also very much in developing uh, safety mechanisms to ensure that it's not used for bad. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Mr. President. In the age of information overload, it's getting harder to find the truth. Facial manipulation technology has huge potential for good and for ill. Recently, I asked the creative boss of Netflix what the future of TV looked like, and he instinctively pointed to these tools. But a democracy only works if you have an informed citizenry, which is media literate. Well, it's not only um, that you may be able to manipulate people, but it's also if deepfakes spread, then people will not be able to trust the truth. They won't be able to tell what is real, what is not real. And in some cases, they may be faced with reports that are real, but they won't trust them. 